Riker and Bond, just Riker in a hotel room, darkly lit. Probably gonna be the best episode yet. Bonjin at 11 p.m. Pacific time says, Oh, I can't pot at 11 p.m., Riker. Well, if you're not parting, if you're not potting hard, Bonjin, then go home. You know, pot hard, go home. I'm in Atlanta. I went to InvestFest 2022. InvestFest is a financial literacy festival conference put on by Earn Your Leisure. Another pod. Is it as good as Ricker and Bond? Who's to say? You know, not me. I needed to make a pod, so I'm going to use this as an unwinding session, and I also wanted just to kind of talk. I tried to go live. But, oh, geez, no one goes to my lives. Nerds, am I right? Um, I'm going to go through the itinerary of InvestFest. <laughs> Usually when I travel, um, this is not recording on that, so Zoom is going to be fine. Um, when I travel, I get back and I inundate my family with a beginning to end storyline, timeline of my travels. And it all started Friday at like three-ish or something. San Diego. The the place to be. SD. <laughs> um, I forget what departure flight. I'm in San Diego, right? Okay, I'm really about to do this whole shtick that I would usually tell my family, but I'll do it on podcast. Going to the, this airport, the International Airport of San Diego. I'm sitting, and I see a guy that I met on a previous flight to freaking Florida a week ago. What are the odds? Very slim. I laugh to myself out loud. I go over, say, what up, dude? How you doing? Uh, this kid is a prof- he's like a twenty-year-old man, right? Professional volleyball player, tournament player. I don't know if tournaments are professional, but bros in the AVP, AVP. You know, it's like watching big big tennis. So I was chatting him up. He's a math major at a college in California internship at a freaking financial firm that's freaking dope you know that's why I was telling him my timeline of investment prowess which I have seeped in through UIL Market Monday um just your classic you know bite out of the apple look through the window I wonder if someone's next door just listening. I will, before I say anything else, say I usually I'm not living alone. I live with people. Being alone makes content a little easier because you're bored and have no one to talk to. That being said, see this kid playing volleyball. I said, yo, dude, you're on the same flight as me to Atlanta? What a, what, a, what a situation that we find ourselves in. <laughs> Shout out to NY for telling me how to voice your podcast, because I do, especially when it's groggy. I say, volleyball man, I gotta do this more often. This is for Coca-Cola in the background. Shout out Peter. Um, my guy, when are you volleying the ball? He said, Friday. I said, Friday? I've been trying to find something to do Friday. I'm going to go to a volleyball tournament in Atlanta. And it was dope. A lot of white people. Shout out my man Dino, security guard. Or Gino, one of the two. And Dean. I don't know if his Dean was the name, but they were dope. Um, Shout out the girls playing volleyball. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, 
thunderstorm happened. Get out of the volleyball place. This was in the Atlantic Station. Atlantic Station is like a mall. <laughs> they played tennis there, apparently, according to some people. Atlantic Station during tennis matches, tournaments. Piggity piggity packed, you know what I mean? Um, was watching this tennis tournament, was trying to watch the homie that I met on the plane. It gets a thunderstorm, it rains every freaking 6 p.m. in August in Atlanta. What are we doing? Nothing good, you know? I'm, <laughs> here I go. I'm in the gap. <laughs> The Friday VIP night, EYL. This is where we transition into the itinerary. EYL and Vest Fest. Is there a space? Is there not? Oh man, I made an ad. Didn't go through. Lordy Lord. Who owns the water? You know? Let me just put that out there. Um, VIP networking night, 6 p.m. Here I am, 5 p.m. ish. It is raining cats and dogs in ATL. I'm in, I'm in JC Penny Gap, whatever the one, for a long time. Going back and forth, looking at my phone, getting ready to Ubs, getting ready to lift. Uber was a whole mishap. I had to cancel on that and get another lady. She was cooler than probably the guy. So, you know, very cool, as always. This is going to be a long recap, jeez. Uh, I get changed in a freaking Gap dressing room. I went up to the lady and said, Lady, are you going to yell at me if I get dressed in your dressing room? She said, no, we're not going to chase you. I dressed. Got a flyer than I already was. Hard to do. Uh, Ubered to a warehouse in Atlanta. Network. I don't know everyone's names off top. I've connected with more people than I've ever connected with literally in my life, probably. Depends on the definition of connection, but uh free beer. I guess it's kinda loaded into the ticket price, but I gotta ask about the economics of the festival. Shout out my boy Quay. Quay homie for life now. Did forget his name multiple times. But Quay knows I know Quay. Um, shout out Mike Dolo. As always. Fuck you well. Boomer. Shout out Mr. Family Man who does credit. Marquise, I believe, of the Sixers formerly. Charles, I think, oh, I forget girl's name, but she was freaking dope. She had basically supply lane, education, and something else, I forget. She called me Mr. Marketing. That was nice. I have her number. I'll say hi. Uh, and if that existed Saturday, I don't even remember Saturday. It was Saturday. Saturday, oh, freaking T Pain was on Friday. Eric Thomas. I didn't see the financial planning. I watched Bit Boy, Derek Ferguson, and Lamar Wilson, hosted by Caleb Silver. I believe Anjan might know Lamar Wilson. I could be incorrect. But I didn't watch Budge Nista. High level conversations, 19 keys, Idris Sandu. I read it was supposed to be Charlemagne and God. No offense to Charlemagne, but would much rather hear Idris talk about Web3. That was dope. Got cool shots of that. Steve Harvey, dopeness. Do I have any? Let's see. Let's see if I have notes. I forgot this portion of the show. Quays message chain was my
Oh, we had Mixmaster David and another DJ. Shout out to Nigel as well. I met Nigel in Long Island. Real estate. Um, sorry to all the interns that I've ignored. I don't have a system good enough yet where I can ignore you efficiently. The graph is up 5.38% for anybody worried about the markets. Sam, who's Sam? Oh, Sam was the Uber driver. Sam was cool. Sam got in a car accident. I forget some of his story. He got in a car accident. Disability or something. Um, I need to get him the financial advisor. I'm looking for Quay's text, man. Where's Quay's text? Alright. I used Quay's text. Huh. Oh no. Andrea was the the marketing lady. Where's Quay's? I might have to take a pause real quick. I think it's the 20 minutes either way. So we'll take a commercial break and then we're going to Saturday night at Invest Fest 2022. Okie dokie. I really hope that um, transition well. My transition, I mean, cut well. Uh, Steve Harvey, where the heck is Quayle's text message? And this is something. You know, a smart person would do at the beginning. So if we scroll all the way up on QHs. Oh man, I was going to go to a, a soccer game. Didn't end up. I'm waning in energy. Uh, man, it's quite sad. You didn't make it home safe. What a, what a kind fellow. Uh, China, Bitboy says, send crypto miners to other country to have stake in that area. Bitboy uses ESPN yelling marketing. Uh, what he's looking at for NFTs as the next wave is gaming skins. As gaming gets into the metaverse more, NFTs to validate you have a certain game accomplishment. Uh, and then we're looking at insurance, contracts, real estate. Uh, look at the ownership and look at everyone that's owned it. Imagine looking at a property and nothing's left out. My note for that was imagine a virtual reality visualization. Oh, speaking of the visualization, I have to completely ignore this podcast. Because... The Meta Elevate was wild. <laughs> uh, Jitali, Irene, Poland. Her name is Colin, I believe. Oh, dude. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Um, it's not very cold. BitBoy did stuff, unique identifier associated with an identity, like a ticket or a pass, but an NFT is. Um, an Oracle problem, can't define that for you succinctly. It's basically uh, to even upload onto a decentralized blockchain, you still have to go through some kind of human or centralized authority. And what's up with that? Chainlink solving that. Solana versus Ethereum minting. You need to go cross. If there's an arbitration of sorts, a dispute, you got to go to court. And then what's the point of crypto then? So my note for that was if you have a cross blockchain arbitration tool, then you're chilling, you know. Um, and then at 12.14, I texted Quay saying, if you want to go to a soccer game at three, he tells me, hey, my guy, Steve Harvey is freaking at 
3 o'clock after that. Trap, Josh Brown, and the dude from GNBC. I forget his name. So I'm like, oh, I can't go to this game anymore. Steve Harvey's going to be on the stage at 3.05. 4 p.m. comes around. Halftime in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. We're still listening to DJ. Conferences always push back a little bit. Should have assumed. Should have gone to the game. They won with the freaking buzzer beater. 90 plus 4 minutes. To get the dub. Josh Brown trap was dope. I didn't meet Josh Brown yet. But he's gonna know me because I made a joke. I made him laugh. Well, that is what I did. Idris and I think Keys was next. I think it's supposed to maybe be Charlemagne the God, but having Idris made me literally say out loud, oh my god, you got Idris. It was dope. Um of the ownership. There was one thing where the freak was it? It was in Discord in the link linked space. Discord. Oh dude, I got a message here too. Oh man. Um yeah, I might make a number two to this. I'm ending this. Okay, we end this on 12, 12 p.m. on a Saturday. You know what I mean? Saturday, indeed. Thanks for listening. Rick and Bond. I'll continue my story next time. Uh, another lesson that was maybe the biggest lesson, and I'll say it on the next one, but you never know how much time you have left. Take for granted it. Most people do. Be grateful. Health, then memories, and then other stuff in the background. Amass the most capital of most people. Good day. <laughs>